I'm sure you heard the talk about Earth spinning faster. Well, time flies in a 50-year record, and Earth is whipping around quicker than it has in half a century. It could mean a negative leap second. That means time will be removed from the clock. Now, here are the scientific facts. The 28 fastest days on record since 1960 all occurred in 2020, which I call the quickening. With Earth, Earth completing its revolutions around its axis milliseconds faster than average. And that's not particularly alarming. However, it does glean some light into a cycle that's occurring, and we're going to get to that and put it all together in this video. Now, the planet's rotation varies slightly all the time, and it's driven by variations in atmospheric pressure, winds, and ocean currents. And some people believe movement in the core. But the problem with that is that the actual information about what's going on in the center of our planet is less than accurate. The inner, the outer core, the liquid solid core idea, when we see some of the three-dimensional modeling of our planet are less than accurate. And something else is going on. And it is our supposition in this video that the sun controls the spin of the planet and what I mean by that is that when we go into grand minimas, like the Maunder minimum, the sun or the earth was spinning quite rapidly. And even during the Dalton minimum, the, sun, uh, the earth sped up. So the sun, when it shuts down, allows more energy to come into the planet, which enables us to spin faster. And that's what I believe is going on. Now, a colleague of mine here, on ResearchGate, Niels Axel Morner is one of the top paleogeophysicists and had, has worked at the Paleogeophysics Physics and Geodynamics Institute in Stockholm, Sweden for over two decades. And he recently retired. But he is the leading expert on geodynamics, paleogeophysics, and sea level in recent times. And he hasn't sold out to the narrative and we're going to try to get him on the show and pick his brain but I first want you to see a little snippet of an interview he did where he discusses the earth's rotation and how it relates to the sun and grand minimas mini ice ages I think you'll be fascinated perfect sense but something is wrong we need to understand that in within physics and what it is and that was something which i uh, discovered in uh, <coughs> um, 1996 during the cold periods little i said it was, was solar minima there was solar minima so it is the sun which is affecting it it the earth speeded up and during the solar maxima it decelerated and these changes were good enough to 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 spin the earth so that you when it was high spinning rate little ice ages more water was accumulated in the equatorial region it's very simple very physically completely correct but you have to fix the data point, not saying that it's everything is similar globally if you really decode it and are sure about your age, the age determination and so on, the, uh, then you see something new, and that is what's called rotational eustasy. And that has been the dominant factor in the last 500 years, and it will continue to be the dominant factor. So it's, you know, the UN says this has to do with our CO2 emissions. You're saying no, the sea level rise, whatever no, is going on, doesn't have to do with CO2. No, no. no that, that absolutely, uh, no. CO2, if it has an effect, it's minute. Mm -hmm. it, is, it, it doesn't matter. What has a big effect? It is the sun. Okay? We have a 60-year cycle 
in this data of present-day uh, temperature. <coughs> it's, it's a rise from early uh, 20th century to um, 2030, 2040, then a fall from 2040 to 2070, a rise from, 70, uh, from 1970 to 2000, and then the beginning of a fall. What is this? That is 30 years, 30 years there. 2 times 30 is 60. That is a 60 year cycle. We see the same cycle in Earth rotation. Isn't that fantastic? Why? And that's the thing. We see it in sea level changes, which is just discussed. And most important, we see it in the astronomical variables beating on the Sun. <coughs> this is, um, Jupiter and Saturn has a 60 year beat on the Sun. Hmm. So how could it be CO2 then? And if CO2 is doing anything, they coined it from the rise of temperature from 19, 1970 to 2000. But from, from 1910 to 1940, we have an equally large and equally fast rise. If this, the other one could be cars and fossil fuel, the first one which could absolutely not have it. So it's something basically sick in the whole of the argumentation. So what happened when you told the UN that they had problems in their report? Yeah, they just uh, ignored what I was saying. They simply say, because they cannot even discuss it. If they were clever, if they had facts on their hands, they could show that, no, you are wrong. But I can't, that, that's not the case. They just will not discuss it. I dis try to discuss it. I will try to show with their own data that they are wrong. <laughs> Beautiful. Niels Axel Morner is always eloquent and <laughs> to the point. Give a thumbs up over here at New American Video. Uh, tell them Diamond sent you. Let's get New American Video over here on the channel as well. So let's get some support over there at uh, New American Video. Interviewing Niels Axel Morner after one of the big uh, climate discussions where he was shut down. Now, if I can just interpret the data that they were showing over there in a, a little bit better clarity for the folks that are listening at home, what we have determined just recently in the last few decades is some breaking stuff it's cutting edge stuff human caused global warming through co2 is nonsense and what they simply use is these two upward trends they broke this uh drop down through an adjustment to make it all look like it was up up and away hey hey and, and, but what we're gleaning now is this multidisciplinary approach to the problem of sea level Earth's rotation, grand minimas, and the sun. And also large gas giants in our solar system, namely Jupiter and Saturn. Now, I, I recently published a video on the Great Conjunction where we use this graph, and it's very telling. You can see here there's these periods of warm here and here prior to the Great Conjunctions. And at the Great Conjunction flexure point, there is a rapid cooling of the planet for two decades, every single time, the last two times. And this is the third time since the 1850s. And guess what's gonna happen here, folks? The same drop down. Now these drop downs get more and more accentuated in packages of three, four, and five in the 100 year, 200 year, 400 year grand minima packages. And we are on a grand minima flexure point, the 400 year biggie. And these are kicked off by great conjunctions. Here's the great conjunction, massive drop in global temps. Great conjunction, the first massive drop, and a continuous drop off. Great conjunction just happened, and hello, here we are at the UAH satellite-based temperature, a major drop in global temperatures, unlike seen for years. And this, if as predicted, should continue to go down, 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 and away for the next two decades. It's not you, it's not CO2. It's a multidisciplinary approach to paleoclimatology with experts like Niels Axel Morner, Diamond, coming from different avenues, putting the pieces together before your very lives to explain the nature of your situation. Time is now to start preparing for crop losses, crop failures, global unrest, and the climate is not the only thing controlling that. 
It's the powers that be. They don't want you to know this information. And they will do everything in their power to keep it from you. Hope you got something out of the video. We're not ashamed at showing you the facts. And you shouldn't be ashamed at viewing them. And that's a boom to knowledge. Share this with like-minded people. Thanks to all our one-time donors and everyone that shares these videos. We are banned from almost all social media platforms in the mainstream. You know who they are. And so it's up to you to get this information out there. Be safe. We love you. And that is a boom. Click on one of the other boxes to gain more knowledge. Be safe.